All right, Rippers, welcome back to the bench. We're back in. You know, if you if you watched the last video, you know we were out there trying to get in the Model 51 Remington versus the R1, the new R1 Remington that was designed after the Model 51. Uh, it was kind of the pros and cons and the versus kind of video, right? So you know that we had some issues, not only with the weather getting sleety and blowy and just blowing us completely out of there faster than we wanted to be and we kind of rushed things, but we also had problems with the R1 and we couldn't figure it out while we were there because the weather was fouling on us just as quick as it could be. So I got it back home and I checked to see if maybe the rounds were bumping up the slide lock. It wasn't that, but then I noticed what it was and I want you guys to see this. If you're an R1 owner, this is important, okay? If you see this spring right here, right? That is supposed to go on top of a ledge that is on your pin, right? This is your barrel pin that goes in there, your link lock, whatever you wanna call it, right? Well, you'll see, I'll put it in here and I'll put it on top of the spring. Now you see when it's on top of the spring? See here? We've got this space here and there's no spring to it, right? See how it just kind of falls back into place? Well, what was happening was, is I had gotten it on the last video where I was going over how to take these down so that you can clean it. Cause this is a particularly tough firearm to take apart to clean. So if you have uh, grip issues or anything like that, I wouldn't advise this firearm. However, this is a great firearm. I've never had issues with it. It's accurate. Um, it's, it's really a great design. They could have slimmed it up, I think a little bit, but anyway, this is a, a flaw in here. So before you call the factory and say, why is it locking back after every shot? That kind of thing. This could be why. And you see how it's just on top of the pin, right? Or top of that spring. Well, if you look right here, there's a ledge. See that? If you put it in wrong and it's on top, the spring will be underneath this instead of hooking this ledge like it's supposed to. Now I'm gonna put it in the right way so you can see. Okay, so there you'll see it's in the right way. There's no space here. And when you do that, see how it springs back? It's got some here, I'll even snap it back, right? So that's the way it's supposed to be. Now this will work and not lock it back because it thinks there's a round each time as if the follower was pushing it up. So that being said, let's put this thing back together. Now, hey, if you haven't got yourself one of these titanium toothpicks, man, this is actually a cool little thing. You can get it, you know, a lot of your Lowe's has them and things like that. You get your titanium toothpick and it kind of goes in there. That way you can pick your teeth and keep it sterilized and, and you always have a toothpick handy. But you can also point things out with it. Woohoo! Right? Okay. So, that being said, we're going to put this thing back together. So, we'll take the slide. Whoops. You got to watch out because the insides fall out. We'll take the slide, put her back on. And as you know, we, we move it back just a little bit to get that released. Now, the barrel is centered back up and it's got spring in it again. So, you move this to line up this notch right here with the hole so we're going to slide that back in and this time when we do it we're going to pay, pay special attention to getting it underneath the spring now right now see it's underneath the spring so we can just snap it in i should make a snapping sound like that if you have it in the right way now you'll see that our gun is together and this if you look, we'll have spring to it. See how it's got a little bit of spring and it's not resting against the slide. If it's resting against the slide and being pushed up, that means you got it in above the spring. So that's how it should look. Now it's time to go out, have fun. We're gonna head back to the range. We're gonna redo that test. We're gonna give it a fair test for, for speed and accuracy, not hyper speed, but good double taps and then some distance shooting and to see what kind of accuracy you get we're going to do some slow shooting too to see how tight of a group we can get um and uh put it through its paces a little bit so that you guys can see well ammo permitting of course but so that you guys can see the differences between the two and just how 
good they were back in the early 1900s when the R or the Model 51 was made and where they're at now. I think the old ones are better to be honest with you, but this is pretty good. Slim it up, get rid of some of its chub and we'll be in business. So until next time, you guys stay safe, stay secure, always be aware of your surroundings. And if you have it, carry it. And if you carry it, go out and use it. Get good with it, right? Have some fun. And always be getting ready and prepared for anything that may come your way. Until next time, adios.